What's going on guys? It's your boy Adjen Bagen for another other plane video. And for today, it's the usual. Should you summon video? Because tomorrow after the update, we will be getting a new 3-star character. Which is called Drakhan. Uh, she looks good. Uh, this is Drakhan by the way. This is the budget Red Hood. If you don't know who Red Hood is. Uh, Red Hood is Nikes first year anniversary character. Red Hood is way way better uh, design wise compared to Drakhan. But yeah, they look similar, similar right? And both of them have red, red hair. <laughs> yeah, the timing for this character is... I don't know if it's just coincidence or not. But yeah, she looks like a budget Red Hood to me. So, we will be getting a new 3-star character, Drakkar. And she is going to be a light character. Yes, I light striker. Finally, a new striker to be added uh, into the character pools. So, is she worth summoning for or should you summon for her? TLDR, no. She is an easy skip meta-wise. Uh, if you're talking about in the meta perspective, she is an easy skip. Mainly because she is not meant for PvP. But let us take a look at her skill set. So, her skill 1, the normal attack, uh, Dragon Tusk. At max level 5, Attacks an enemy, this attack deals increased damage proportional to the number of debuffs on the target. Has a 50% chance to inflict curse on the target for one turn. And then this effect ignores target's resilience. So she is a deb debuffer that can inflict curse. There is another curse user in, uh, in Outer Plane which is uh, Marian, the 2 star uh, water character. Uh, they might be similar, but she is a uh, light element 3-star character. Uh, she will be probably be really good in the upcoming new raid or new hunt. Uh, her skill 2, Burning Peace. So at skill enhanced level 5, attacks an enemy, inflicts curse twice on the target for 3 turns. This effect ignores the target's resilience, does not trigger an enemy's counter-attack prevents or agile response so her kit really revolves around the curse debuffs and probably they are selling her because of the new and upcoming uh, new hunt that will give us new types of equipments and accessories which is uh, i will be talking on a separate video for the patch notes but yeah she is probably going to be meant uh, for that kind of hunt uh, the burst skill for the skill 2 at uh, burst level 1, uh, plus 2 turn reduce critical hit chance on the target. Uh, this is a debuff. And then reduces weakness gauge plus 1 at burst level 2. And then at burst level 3, enhance attack increase damage. Especially additional increase against dark enemies. Yes, and because the upcoming hunt is a dark enemy. So yeah, she's probably going to be the number 1 DPS. Uh, against that hunt and if you will see why uh, she has this uh, reduced the critical chance mainly because her skill 1 this increased damage proportional to the number of debuffs so the, the more debuffs the enemy has the more damage she will deal to the enemy kinda like uh, Laplace skill 3 uh, if you don't know Laplace skill tree da, what Laplace skill tree does, uh, the more debuff the enemy has, the, the more the stronger the damage she dealt. Where is my Laplace? Laplace skill tree. Uh. Ah, yeah. See, the damage dealt increases in proportion to the number of debuffs on the target. So. We've already seen how much damage this Grand Blue Punishment of Laplace can do. It hurts really, really strong, especially if the enemy has a lot of debuffs to them, especially against boss-type boss, boss type mo monsters in the hands, spe specific hands. So yeah, Drakan might be really, really good and probably might one-shot the boss of the upcoming hunt. But... In PvP, I don't think she really has a usage in PvP. But moving on for her skill tree. Uh, 
Conquering Dragon Nature Piece. So at skill enhanced level 5, attacks an enemy and has a 100% chance to inflict reduced critical hit chance on the target for 2 turns. This effect ignores the target's resilience. This attack deals increased damage proportional to the number of buffs and debuffs on the target. So not only this damage will deal more damage if the, the enemy has uh, more debuffs, including the buffs, the positive buffs, uh, it will also add to the damage uh, that she will deal with this skill. So she's, prob she's uh, a better version of Laplace uh, in any way or form, but I believe Laplace is still... Uh, way better because of the uh, fixed damage that she has on her chain skill because uh, chain skill of Drakan is only uh, grants the caster increased attack for 2 turns so a uh, self, self, uh, self attacking buff uh, which you can already get from other buffers but it is what it is if you don't uh, bring a buffer on your team then this one might be really good since she will uh, hit really really hard against uh, elite bosses or maybe even in the tower that is what i am imagining what i'm envisioning on how to pull utilizer her exclusive equipment royal fang this one has uh, accuracy to dark and then uh, increases priority by 35 percent when attacking a target that has a debuff uh, so so more priority increase so probably her best build would be speed uh, speed damage built so she can attack uh, more frequently because uh, because of her exclusive equipment she will get she will gain uh, more priority by attacking just by equipping her uh, exclusive equipment so yeah she's really meant for pbe so if you care for pbe and not pvp then she might be a mass summon for you because of the upcoming hunts that we will be getting with uh with this uh new update tomorrow but if you are a pvp player or a pvp enjoyer like myself she is an easy skip uh, i'm kind of disappointed with her because rta is projected to come around uh, december and it's kind of a missed uh, opportunity because uh, they should have bring more characters that are meant for pvp for the preparation of RTA because right now I don't think uh, we don't have that much characters to be used in RTA uh, some of them are two star characters which are gonna get overtaken by the three stars and also there will be some nerfs and balance adjustments to the other characters so yeah I I I can a bit disappointed with Rakan because uh, she is not meant for PvP she's only really good for PvE but we will see well, uh, when she launched in uh, global uh, in uh, in our server tomorrow, in every server tomorrow, I'm gonna be summoning for her mainly because she's waifu. Yes, that is the reason. If you are a waifu enjoyer also, then yeah, you cannot miss her out. Look at her. She she's gorgeous, right? She she, she really is a a very beautiful waifu. So that alone is a good reason enough for me to summon for her and also I am a content creator so I need to make contents about her so yeah to everyone we are going to be summoning for Drakhan tomorrow I wish you good luck and may all Drakhan wanters becomes Drakhan the Habers and I think that's it for me for today guys I hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe I would really appreciate it if you could help me grow my channel more and thank you to everyone for supporting my channel I appreciate every one of you. Until next time, peace.